some giddy up and gt go nice i am lou with another episode of my car story and today we're with friend to the channel gary udani he's a fan and he said to me out in arizona lou i've got a car that you may like to see and after he showed me the car i said i think everyone's going to want to see this one you can tell me what you think gary what your make and model do we have 1966 pontiac gto numbers matching tri-power four-speed car you're gonna like that so let's go right to our featured attraction. Come on right alongside me. We'll start in the back. One of the ways you can tell when it's a 66 is, well, those taillights. One year only with the taillights that had those louvers on them. The other years don't have that. So very distinctive. What is the color of your blue car? It's called Code P Barrier Blue. Code P Barrier Blue. And this color just looks great. Now why the WS GTO? WS stands for four-speed, 360 horse tri-power car. Which is the one you want to have. Now, the gas tank is right here, right? Yes, sir. There you go. And I'm going to step back one more time. We're going to have some trunk and treats. So as we open up our trunk and treats, with that great Pontiac creaking sound, I'm going to give you the overall here, and if you look in the body and the description of this video, we're going to actually go through each one of these brochures and give you some details there. But the bottom line is, this is a tribute car to his dad that we've heard the story on, and we'll share a little bit more of that story with you when we take our ride. But you can see everything here looks exactly like it was supposed to in 66. So much so that you can see the etchings there of the stamp markings. And you can see those right there too. Right there. So it's completely like we're going back to 1966. Even the dot on the tire. That's amazing. So come and take a look in the description of the video and we'll have all of these brochures in great detail. And we're going to keep going on to the car. And we're back. So as we're back, let's take a look at the side of it. The red line tires off the blue. And well, that is just the way it should be. So we're going to talk about in the ride the story of your dad uh, and how he motivated you when you first saw this car. But tell me what year did you get this car? I bought this car in 2016. And there's a little bit, you had seen this car beforehand, correct? Yes, I did. And what happened when you seen it? I absolutely fell in love with it. My friend that owns Custom Classics called me in. He's a big restoration shop and said, this car just came in for restoration. He goes, are you interested in the car? Because he doesn't know if the owner wanted to keep it. I saw it and I said, if there's any way it goes up for sale, I want it. And it just so happened it did. <laughs> and he performed a frame off rotisserie restoration for me. That is just great. And back in this time frame, there were Le Mans, Tempest, and GTOs. And when you saw the GTO there and you saw it on the grill, can we open it? Absolutely. Thanks. And when we saw that GTO, that was the thing that motivated us. Probably much like today, if you see a Challenger, you're hoping it's a Hellcat or a Demon. There's that great instrumentation. I want to just show the buckets. Tell me why we have a Tiger. I, I know the answer to this, but tell the audience. Well, in 1966, the, the whole Pontiac GTO campaign was all about the Tiger. And if you look at their high-performance brochure, which you'll see, um, the Tiger was exclusively on it. So I thought, hey, that would just be a neat little thing to throw in the car since that was their right. advertising campaign. Jim Wanger is the marketing manager. Actually, you opened the hood on the GTO, and there was a Tiger in there. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> the tiger came out of the engine compartment. So as we sit inside, we have the correct amount of pedals. We have one of the badges there. 
This is truly a showpiece car. I mean, this takes you all the way back to the time frame. Talk about nut and bolt restoration. Is it? Is that a thousand three hundred and twenty miles since the restoration? Yes, sir. Oh my, yeah. Wow. You've got the tack. Yeah, it's called part of the rally gauge package, which the car came with when it was born. And probably one of the first FM stereos there. As you can see, you do that, it would go AM, FM. The GTO with the grab bar. The only time you see GTO on the dash, although you do see it clearly on the door as well. And I like that they let you know in a really good console up the center that they let you see this one in for sure and that wood all looks like it's brand spanking new so it's like a memory time traveler it takes you right back to 1966 <laughs> it's just fantastic all right we're going to turn this one around for you so we can take a look at the front under the hood so here we have the front end of the car as i shared with you as we turned it around and you would look for that gto right in the grill back in the day that's the one you wanted to see because you knew it was the fast one a little windy out here as you can hear we got the perfect badge and the hood scoop with just the right amount of bulge here let's open it up shall we we'll show them what it looks like the stacked headlights absolutely wow that looks perfect Especially from where we showed it in the trunk. Tell me what the 193C, am I reading that right? That's the, that's the correct filter. These were steel elements in there and you were supposed to have a foam element on there. Other people make them. This is the exact General Motors one wow. that was made for the car. All the proper markings. <laughs> it's a time capsule. I mean, when they got done with this restoration, and you saw it, let me just... I mean, what was your reaction when you saw it? Uh, I just thought it was one of the most beautiful things I ever saw in my, in my life. My wife actually came with me and she started crying. Really? And I said to her, what's wrong? And she goes, it's so beautiful. <laughs> she was just so happy. I can't say enough for what those guys did for me at Custom Classics. Wow. They made my dream come true. Yeah, what's your wife's name? Sherry. Sherry, nice shout out to Sherry. Thanks for a wife that cries over a GTO. That is awesome. <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. All the right paint with the yellow on the spring, everything. Just down to the, to the nines, wow. It's actually got the original carburetor tags that were put back onto the car. Really? You zoom in yeah, on that. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Wow. Let me see that one there. That's <laughs> great. All right, well, let's fire it up, shall we? Sure. Do you want me to close the hood or leave it no, open? No, I open. want it open. You got it, <laughs> I want to see it. You got it. <laughs> Oh, it's let got me, a nice little camera. Yeah, let me, uh, can you step on the brakes for a second? The one thing with those louvered taillights, you gotta kind of be, be alongside it. Let me just listen to it idle. Go ahead, give it a rev. First start of the season, we're getting all the moisture out of it. Well, Gary, let's uh, Gary, let's take this one for a ride. You got it, sir. So here we are in the '66 GTO, Gary and I. 
And Gary, what a treat to be in this car, right? Thank you very much. Uh, I, I love being in this car. Thank you for coming along for the ride. My pleasure. Let's just show people a little of the ride. Nothing like a GTO on a country road with a nice bubble in the hump. So tell me a little bit of the story with your dad now with this car. So in 1966, my dad was ready to buy his first brand new car. Right. He owned his own rug and flooring business. So we went into Mount Clair Pontiac in Chicago. The second we walked into the showroom, this exact car was sitting on the showroom <laughs> floor. Barrier blue, black interior, four-speed, 360 horse, tri-power car. Right. My eyes popped out of my head and I said to my dad, can we get this car? My dad said to me, he goes, son, I would love to, but he goes, I need a bigger trunk, the car is too small, plus I won't drive a four-speed, but you can pick the color. So he ended up buying his first brand new car was a barrier blue 1966 Pontiac Catalina. Which would have a much bigger trunk for carpeting. Oh God, yeah, that car was like seven or eight inches longer than this car and he needed it for his business. Exactly. But he fell in love with this car as well. So what happened to you? From that moment on, I was smitten, for lack of a better word, <laughs> and I always wanted a 66 in Barrier Blue. Your dream car. It was my dream car. Then I found the right guy to do it for me, and frame off rotisserie restored it, and you know, in life, dreams can become reality. Wow, that is a and great that's what this story. Is. I'm so excited that you hit your dream car. You know, one of the things with the GTO, when you're riding it, you've got this grab bar here, and the GTO there, which lets the passenger know what they're in. There's nothing there for the driver to see that. But we'll just show you a little bit of this road we're on. How much fun is this, right? And it drives like a, like a gem. It's so beautiful, so easy to drive. It feels great. The fact that it's got the four speed, the fact that it's a great color, a GTO. I mean, it, I can understand why this is a dream car. Like I say, I fell in love from the moment I saw it in the last uh, impression. I'm now 66 years old, and I, you know, this happened back when I was, what, maybe 13, whatever the year was, yeah. 12, whatever, and this left an impression in my mind forever. Well, first of all, congratulations on hitting your dream car. Congratulations on staying that persistent, and persistence obviously paid off for you. And I'm glad that you were actually finally able to get your dream car. And of course, share it now with the globe. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. Oh, again, thank you very much. This is an honor and a privilege as far as I'm concerned. And I love every moment I can get the car out. Thanks so much, Gary. Thank you. So I've got a little extra bonus footage for you. For those of you who stick around a little bit longer and wait all the way to the end, this will be worth it. Gary, tell me about what Sherry did. Well, my wife knew I was looking for this car for a super long time. So when our restoration was finally completed, when I came home, she came up to me and she goes, I got a surprise for you. And I go, what's that? She goes, I've been saving money over the last 10 years. Little did I know what she was doing. She handed me a check for $30,000 toward the car. And she opened up a side account to put money away for me just to get my dream car. Oh my God. It was unbelievable. So, I was shocked. So his wife cries when she saw the car, surprised him when he gets home. Because she said, hey, I know you were a little worried about the finances and gave you a check to help you with the car. Absolutely. Oh, my God. How lucky can one man get? This is a lot of luck. Wow. That's fantastic. And that's how we end the story for you. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon.